Wait, uh, your uh, Christmas. Yes. Ah, good. <laughs> ah, nice. Wait, got it. Okay. Yeah. Long time, a long, a long time to not to see you. Yes, a few months ago. <laughs> uh -huh. Was it yesterday? Let me see. Licenciada Marlene Sarce. Julia. Let me check note. Okay. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Did you attend at the class yesterday, Yolanda? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes. How, how many students? Uh, how many students I, are in the class? I think 23, I think. I don't remember. Really? Wow. A lot. Let me see. I have problem with my with my uh, clock, okay. the computer okay. clock. I don't know why. In this moment, is I think it's eight o'clock. What time do you have right now? Eight o'clock? Yes. Good evening, okay. everybody. So hello, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Yes. Hi. All right. Great, great. That's amazing. So good evening, everybody. Thanks a lot for joining. Uh, thank you so much for uh, being here on time. I see Maria, well, Maria, Ivan, and Mary, I think. Um, I see also Claudia is just coming here. Uh, Rafael, good evening. Great to see you. Mauricio, nice to meet you. Uh, Yolanda, nice to meet you Dagoberto, thank you so much for joining. Um, oh, I see Fernando now. Amazing. Thank you, Fernando, for joining. I see Jasmine too and Irving. All right. So good evening, everybody, and welcome to class number two. Um, I hope you're having a really nice Tuesday, like a, a very good, um, you know, working environment that you're healthy and that you are doing just fine. Uh, thank you so much for completing the homework. Thank you for getting into the platform. I already saw like some people um, already got there, completed some exercises, were like checking on that. So that's just amazing. And thanks a lot for that. Um, how are you doing, guys? Is your day going good? Is, is it going well? Yes, it's, it was busy, but it was very good. Oh, all right. Busy, but good. Nice. I know. The good thing when you're busy is that the time flies, you know, and you have less I don't know. When you notice, it is already like pretty late or the week is over. So I guess it, it's good in a way. Um, <laughs> Adrian, good evening. Uh, I see Chrysia as well. Vanessa, thank you so much for joining. Let me see. I see some names I didn't see yesterday. So I'm super happy to see more people joining. All right. 
Um, let me see. I think I see Monica there as well. Okay, great. Thank you guys uh, for joining here. I'm super happy to see you back, right? Um, and that you're ready for classes. Um, did you take a couple of minutes today to review yesterday's vocabulary, yesterday's class? Did you check the video for today? Did you, did you watch the video? I know that for the video, um, still you have some questions where to post it. But hopefully today, um, now that the platform is ready for everybody, so today we can start, you know, writing the little summary for that video. So, guys, did you take a couple? How did you feel the video? Was the video easy? Was the video a little hard? Did you watch the video? <laughs> or not yet? I don't yes, know yet. I watched. You watched it. All right. Was it easy or was it hard? No, it's good. It's easy and it's very, uh, I think it's very um, uh, clear. I under, I, yes, I understand the oh, conversation. Wow. Okay. Sounds great. Sounds really nice. So did everybody understand it? Was it easy for everybody? I'm asking you because in this way, I can start looking for videos um, that are not like too complicated. All right. But the video mm -hmm. stuff. We can go little by little, increasing that. Hi, good evening, um, Anna. Hi, Enrique, good evening. Uh, Noemi, good evening. Okay, okay. Um, let me see, Noemi's having problems with the internet. Noemi, um, let's do something. Turn off your camera uh, for some minutes and just keep the audio, all right? And let's check if the internet connection gets better. Normally, um, the camera, needs like more um wide connection let's say so that's why so turn off your camera for some minutes and let's check it out let's check if that works thank you so much guys for activating your camera and let's get it started so we can start you know practicing and take advantage of this time uh good evening sofia great to have you good evening Crisia. <laughs> um let me see who else is here luis good evening great to have you as well um fernando why did you turn off your camera <laughs> okay I suddenly i saw my camera but then it's gone okay uh let me start presenting my my screen i'm sorry it's for my internet connection oh okay i see no problem <laughs> the thing yeah. is, is that suddenly it went blank so i was like wait what's going on <laughs> okay that's fine Okay, guys, let's just get started, like checking. Yesterday, if you remember, we were checking kind of vocabulary, kind of just new things, phrasal verbs, these words th that we need to memorize in order to use them. So um, this is just like, like a little uh, reminder, right? To participate in class, talk, and to ask questions if you need to, if you have any doubts, so, don't hesitate to ask your questions here. So first, I have a couple of pictures for you. Okay, um, this is about yesterday's vocabulary uh, and yesterday's homework as well. So for example, with picture number one, can you give me an example, guys? What comes to your mind with the picture that is here, the first picture that you see on your left? I wake up. No, okay, so you wake up, you wake up early, okay, okay, nice, nice, easy, a piece of cake. What about the picture that is down there, the second one, vertically? What turn can off be? the lights. Oh, okay, so turn off the lights, all right, turn on, turn off, okay, nice. What about this one? What about the man, what's he trying to do? I need to pick, pick, up the box. pick up the box. All right, so you need to pick up the box. Okay, that sounds good. And the other one that we have right here. So what does this, you know, represent? Hang um, up. Hang up, exactly, exactly. We don't have uh, telephones, I guess. Uh, it's oh. not very common. Do you still have a telephone? <clears throat> At the office? Yes. <laughs> ah, okay, at the office. But with a wire. A, telephone. a wire telephone. Okay. Uh, it's been it's years. 
Yeah, it's been years. I haven't seen oh a, tel a telephone. So it's very common now that everybody has a cell phone. So yeah, exactly. We have this one that is like when you finish a coil, so you hang it up, right? Or when you are angry, you just finish and you hang up, right? Uh, so let's go ahead. And let's check, guys, a couple of questions that I have for you today. So, um, uh, Yolanda, please, help me read question number one. What time do you usually get up? Do you wish you could get up earlier or later? Thank you very much. Ana Maria, can you help me with the second question, please? Um, have you ever been to get by a crazy taxi driver. Mm -hmm. All right, thank right. you so much. Exactly. So especially with taxis, yeah. Uber, InDrive, etc. And we have this word pick up, right? So pick, pick up. up. Uh -huh. So pick up can be like this this picture, right? You pick up a box, something from the floor, but also in a car. So if you have a car. Uh, and you need to go for, I don't know, to get your sister, to get your mom, to get a friend. So you pick the person up. So you pick up. Have you ever been picked up, right? So pick up, mm -hmm. taken, like when you call an Uber, for example, have you ever been picked up by a crazy driver? Um, maybe taxi, Uber, in drives, or any, you know, of this, right? Um, Enrique, please, can you I help am me? a crazy you are a crazy, <laughs> a crazy driver. <laughs> I am crazy, <laughs> but not that crazy. <laughs> okay. Enrique, can you help me with the next question, please? Thank you, Anna. What is your favorite place to eat out at? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So this question is just if to, your favorite restaurant, right? Another way to ask about restaurants. So what is your favorite place to eat out? Okay, to eat out at. Eat out is just to go out. What is your favorite restaurant, your favorite diner, your favorite pupuseria? All right. So where do you normally go out? That's the question. Um, and uh, Crisia, please, can you help me with the last question? Had you ever had to take care of someone or something? Sibling, pet, babysitting, etc.? Did you enjoy it? Exactly. So have you ever, I don't know if you have babies, right? But if you don't have babies, what? have you ever had to take care of someone? Like your brother is like, hey, can I leave my children with you, right? And you have to take care of your nephews, nieces, or when a family member is sick when your mom is sick so do you have to or take care pet. of them or the pet exactly if you have I a take cat. care of my cat uh -huh, my cat. your cat my your cat. dog what else uh, i don't know rabbits or hamsters or any like a specific pet that you have or <laughs> or yeah or another person's house i mean that is teacher. really take care yes teacher i has a crowd <laughs> you you have i'm sorry a crowd. A crowd, yes. I has a crowd. Uh, are you... it's crowd. Oh, a crab. A crowd, yes. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the big animal that looks like an eagle. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, so wait, what is your crab your pet? <laughs> do, do you have a uh, crab as a pet? Okay. Uh, yes, that is new but, to me. <laughs> but I have had fish. <laughs> I have had fish. I have had turtles, but not crabs. Okay, that's interesting. But I suppose she, she, she lives. Lives is is irse. Yeah, she will live eventually. Okay, <laughs> yes, or, or you can lives. eat it, <laughs> or you can eat your crab. I <laughs> no, don't know. no, no. <laughs> I mean, the, the family is not for. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, because I sometimes <laughs> we have hens or we have roosters in the house or we have pigs, right, that are kind of our pets, but then the family decides to eat them. So, I mean, mm. <laughs> that can happen as well. Okay, guys, we have one, two, three, four, 
we have four questions, okay? And I brought these questions today because I want to listen to your answers. I want um, you like to, to try to give an answer to your classmates, try to say or try to give as much information as possible. So, um, for example, question one says, what time do you usually get up? And do you wish you could get up earlier or later? So give us always details. What time do you get up? Um, I wish I could get up earlier, but I have like a big problem with that. Or I wish I could get up later because I need to sleep or I don't know. Give us more details. Try to always give us details. You can take a picture, right? So you can take a picture here. Let me know when you are ready. And so we can go and start discussing them. Are you ready? Do you have the question? I'm ready. Okay, amazing, amazing. Remember, um, we are going to like go and practice in groups. So remember, you can present your screen so the others can see the questions as well. We'll have only like five minutes to go discuss them and then we come back and we share your answers, okay? So um, give me one second. Teacher. Hello. Teacher, yes. what, is, what is the meaning of sibling? Oh, sure. The word siblings, sibling refer to brother and sister. Uh, for example, if I have a brother, a brother is a man, sister is a woman. But in my case, I have three brothers and I have two sisters. I cannot say I have five brothers because that is not true. I cannot say I have five sisters because that is incorrect. So the word that I use is siblings. I have five siblings, three brothers and two sisters. Guys, what about you? Do you have uh, brothers, sisters? How many siblings do you have? I have uh, two brothers, uh, one brother and two sisters. <laughs> Oh, so that is siblings. Okay. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? Do you have brothers and sisters? I have an older I'm sorry. I think somebody opened the microphone, but there is a little interference. So we couldn't listen to you very well. Uh, maybe you can write it in the chat. I'm not sure who that person was. Maybe you can write it in the chat. So that is just fine. I can say sibling with cousin. Um, no, uh, sibling is only, only for brother and sister. Cousin, it doesn't matter if it is a boy or a girl, we can say cousin. Um, in my case, I have two male cousins and three female cousins, but they are cousins. So you can say five, six, seven, there is no problem with the gender. But in the case of brother and sister, it has to be very specific, right? Two brothers, uh, two sisters, but the word, the general word, that would be sibling. Uh -huh. Like, for example, when you say mother, mother, father, but to call mother and father together, you say parents. So it is the same with siblings, exactly the same. It was me, oh, okay, Cory. I said that I have just one sister, okay. Yeah, so that would be a sister only. You don't need to mention. Even, you can say I have a sibling, but it wouldn't be very common. I have two brothers and three sisters, six siblings. Oh, two brothers and three sisters. Oh, five, five that would be, five siblings, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Exactly, exactly. Okay, guys, let's get started and practice these questions. Um, remember, the idea is not to write. You don't need to write anything. You can use your dictionaries if you need something, right? Or if you don't remember a word, but just try to speak. Speak as much as possible. We have five minutes and we are going to come back at 22. 
So guys, enjoy it. Five minutes. Let's go and answer the questions. Okay. Let me know guys if anybody has problems or issues with the connection. I see Maria Ivan is here, Cody, Alonso. Let me know guys if you need some help. Uh. Luis, are you all right? Can you access the group? Um, Adrian. Adrian. Um, is the usually? Yes. Mm, I usually is get up um five a.m. It's normal, and the Monday and the Friday. Okay. Five a.m. So early. Do you you woke up very early, uh, Adrián? Uh, I don't understand. Can you repeat, please. Yeah, the, you you wake up. You wake up. Uh -huh, you wake up very early, at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah. In the five, in in the five in the morning, uh -huh. at five at five it at five to uh, to uh, the from Monday and Friday, yeah, and uh, Sunday. Uh, it's usually on the last week and the seven p.m. seven a.m. Seven a.m. Eight. Yeah. Okay. Have but you ever been was, I'm sorry, that was a.m., right? Or p.m.? A.m. Oh, AM. sorry. Okay. No, the thing is that I was like, wow. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I, 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 I don't sleep in, in today. It's during, the during the daytime. It's so difficult and it's so noisy. Okay. But you wake okay. up early. What time do you start working? What time do you work? Uh, uh, for regular uh, 8 a.m. Why do you wake up at 5? Do you, mm. live, do you live far away from your work? It's, it's difficult. Um, for example, uh, I, don't, I don't boss. Uh, I independent work. Mm -hmm. OK. Oh, OK. Okay. What did you do? Um, for project social people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mauricio, have you ever been picked up by a crazy Uber uh, driver? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. <Damn>. I, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I never. I, I usually. Usually, I usually get up at uh, five fifteen a.m. But I wish uh, I wish could get uh, get up uh, earlier. I go to the work and I, como digo, llego. Arrive. I arrive in my office uh, uh, sometimes later. Uh, so you wake up at five in the quarter, but you get to work late. Uh, um, no, o sea, la cuestión es, 
quisiera levantarme más temprano porque a veces llego tarde. Yeah, yeah. So, why do you live in, in an area with a lot of traffic jam? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Where do you live? Uh, I live in Santa Tecla. I'm, I'm going. I'm going to Armenia. Oh no! Every day. Yes. Wow. Uh, what? The traffic is a uh, big traffic in. Como <coughs> la but, de los chorros. Uh -huh. From Los Chorros to El Poliedro, I guess. Exactly. Wow. <coughs> but like every day. Okay. Hey, Monica, we are the same. <laughs> I just I just heard you coughing. Are you a little sick? Yeah, I'm very sick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, I can I hear can. your voice. Wow. Yeah, can you speak? Oh, Dios mío, que feliz. No, I am it's... a little sick too. too. Oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm a little sick too. Yeah. Yeah, for the reason I don't be yesterday, I class. Well, even that Look was the first me. reason. Look and that's because I didn't have connection. Oh. I could connect you. Yeah. All right. No, but, but I can listen to your voice, and, and that definitely sounds. <clears throat> very yeah. affected i hope you get you know you get over super soon yeah i was you know, like I have two two weeks two oh with this. Yeah. so it is not not even the first but uh, yeah. are you on sick leave did you go to seguro social or something it's not necessary because i don't be working i be studying oh. Um, oh. Like, so for me it doesn't matter because i receive the classes like this way but oh. in Google Classroom. Oh, okay, okay. So That's for nice. me, it doesn't matter. Go to the because <laughs> you stay at uh, at home yeah. pretty much. Okay. Yeah, oh. I stay at home. That is a very yeah. interesting yeah. point. All right. How do you say incapacitado? Sick leave. So I am on sick a sick leave. leave. Yes. Uh, I'm going to write it in the chat. So I am please, on please. a sick leave. Or I am on a doctor's leave. Yeah. But, but you please. know, I don't know what's going on because this week, I guess everybody's been affected with flu, with cough, headaches, um, like sword muscle and everything. So be careful, guys. Be just Really yeah. You can say I am on a sick leave or I am on a doctor's leave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, guys, you can continue. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I just interrupted you there. Jump forward. In my case, I in my case, I want to um, get up uh, later when only when the clear the weather is cool. When it's cold, all the yeah. people wish <laughs> they in bed. <laughs> okay, Irving, what With is your, your favorite person? place to do eat out at? I don't have a favorite place to eat out at. Uh, ah. I go, I have come many places, so I don't have a favorite food. Do you I like whatever go, food? <laughs> whatever food is food. Okay. Okay, um, and Sylvia, have you ever had to take care of someone or something? Is Sylvia here? Sylvia, you are here. Or Francisco. Francisco, ha ha have you ever had to take care of someone or something? Ah, Francisco. Uh, yes, I have. Remember uh, when when my pet is is he, he was I I I to take care uh, for two two days about I I to take I to take care of my my pet. What kind of pet do you have? Do you have a cat, a dog? What is it? 
uh, it was a, a, a doll. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so you, you can take uh, care of pets. Uh, yeah, I see Sylvia connected, but I'm not sure if she's right here. Okay. Um, guys, oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, I think that the guys were asking you like this question. Have you ever taken care of someone or an animal or a person or something? Yes, teacher, I have my child. Oh. I have two daughters and I have a cat and I enjoy it, take care of them. Oh, how old are your daughters? Yes, I have uh, one is almost 30 years old. 13, sorry, 13. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, that's okay, no problem. And the smallest have uh, seven years old. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so yeah, and you have kids and pets. So you know what it is. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, all right. That, that's okay. Uh, do we have more questions or was that the last question? That was the last, right? There's if you have ever one. taken care of something. Okay, okay, guys, very nice. Um, because of the time, we are going to move back. All right, so give me just a moment here. Let me... All right, guys, so thanks a lot for coming back. Give me just a second. Let me make sure I don't sure, I have, have a question. anybody behind. Yes, tell me, what is your question? Uh, if you uh, told about the drivers, is calm drivers or quiet drivers? Um, si son tranquilos. Uh, I'm sorry, what was the first word you mentioned? Uh, calm, calm drivers or quiet drivers i i would say there is a difference uh because normally calm refers to the way they behave right um for example if you drive but if you are like super relaxed like a very relaxed person so that you are calm right and quiet refers a little more um to if you are talkative or you are just uh, very quiet if you don't talk much so I would okay. say there is a little difference. Uh -huh. So a okay, person in this can be calm. Case is calm. Mm -hmm. A person okay. can be calm uh, and quiet at the same time, or I can be calm, but I can be very talkative. <laughs> so I think there is a slightly difference there uh -huh, in the way okay. we use it. All right. Okay. Yes. I, I, I think uh, Yolanda's question is the opposite, opposite All right. the, the crazy. Crazy driver, crazy or driver. Calm drivers. Oh, uh -huh. um, taxi driver, right? Um, I would say it really depends what you understand by crazy, because, for example, for me, crazy can be a person who uh, drives uh, recklessly, like very dangerous in a very dangerous way. Uh -huh. For me, that is crazy. Yeah. So yeah. the opposite yes. uh, probably can be uh, respectfully. Okay, like a respectful driver. Mm -hmm. Um, so it really depends on what you understand by crazy. It can be respectful, okay. it can be calm, uh -huh. it can be, let me think about other ways. Yeah, so I guess it's up to everybody uh -huh, to, to, under, uh, to understand the word um, crazy in that regard. But have you ever been picked up by a crazy driver, by a dangerous driver or something like that? Nobody. Now with Uber in drive, so there are like a lot of possibilities, right? Uh, no, uh, uh, always uh, I take uh, Sinai taxi, but I uh -huh. had a bad experience uh, with, with one dri uh, driver. <laughs> From Sinai? Because I, I think that they are kind of, I don't know, I would say maybe safe. I would use the word safe. I don't know if that is the correct way to say it, 
because they are from a respectful, you know, thriving company. So, but I think that that would be. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. saying now we gotta be very careful. Guys, what about this other question? What is your favorite place to eat out? Do you have a favorite like a restaurant or a favorite place? Are you quite picky or whatever? Any place uh, is good. Philippines for 13, Antigua Cuscatlan, Pupuseria. <laughs> Antigua Cuscatlan, what is the name of the Pupuseria? Philippines for 13. Philippines for 13, where is that? It is the principal street. Uh, like when near the park? The, every, oh, sorry, is the green, uh, with the green walk. Okay. Um, yeah. What is the main street? It's near to the park. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, my, my, yeah. like, my, my point of reference, that would be the park. So, <laughs> okay, from there. Yeah, from the there. park for one or two apples. <laughs> okay. Uh, Street or what? Like one block away, two blocks, blocks away. A block, for example, uh, when you are in the park, you walk right and cross to the left. Okay. Yeah, and this street is Filipenses for thirteen. Is the right. richest of places. Yeah. Oh, okay. I have heard that Antigua has very nice pupuserias, but. To be honest, with this COVID thing, I think I prefer like more open spaces uh -huh, rather than like a small one. So I prefer um, this area of Los Planes that are like very nice places that are in the open air. So I think I definitely go for that. But I will definitely try uh, Philippines. <laughs> All right. Guys, what about the rest of you? Do you have a favorite place to eat out? Nobody? Your house? Yes. In my case, uh, uh, I live in Santa Tecla. I wow. like to go to terrazas. Terrazas. Yeah. Uh, it's a, a place to uh, make a lot of food, a uh, kind of food and pupusas. Where is terrazas? Uh, it's in the, in front of the park, uh, San Martin? No, Daniel Hernandez Park in the, in the, in the downtown. Like in the main street? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. In the and main street, in the Pan American, Pan American street. Yeah. La Panamericana. Uh huh. Okay, so that that is after the market, right? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't know that the name was Terraza. I know the place, but I didn't know the name. Oh, very interesting. Okay, so Terraza, guys. What about the rest of you? Anybody else wants to share? Teacher, yes. I went with my wife in Los Planes, but I don't remember the name of the restaurant. Um, it's a very beautiful, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful the, the place because you, you have a panoramic uh, vista. Okay, like a, like a nice landscape. Exactly, exactly. Yes, very, sure. very, very. Okay. Um, is it like on Los Planes near the lookout, um, near these famous, because the, the ones that I know that are very famous are the El Atico and the Bungalows, I think. The ones that are exactly like in the... I, I don't remember, but uh, you can see the Comalapa Street. Oh, okay. You can see okay. it from, from the restaurant. Yeah, uh, there are new, actually. There are like a lot of, in the last year, I guess, there are a couple of nice places and they are really cool. And the, and the, the weather, like the air, that feels very fresh. So nice, mm. nice. All, all right. All is cool in the planets. Uh, yeah, oh, I, I think it's fun. very cool. I think that's very cool. And it is not dangerous as before. Okay, guys, so very nice and thanks a lot for sharing this. So we have here a couple of just new words. We have pickup, that is not only for objects, we also for a car, a taxi, you can use pickup. We have eat out, that is like go out of your house and eat in another place um, and take care, right? Take care of the three words, they are married. So I take care of my brother, I take care of my cat, 
I take care of my, my baby, for example. So take care of, they go together. Now we are going to get familiar with a couple of more words. So follow me, you know, and, and um, practice with me the following. We have, for example, throw away, right? So look at this, throw away. To waste a something or an opportunity. So normally throw away can be like this, exactly like the picture. You have garbage, uh, you have things that you don't need and you just throw them away. Or like the example, I'm throwing away or I'm throwing my money away, okay? Like when you buy things that you don't need, Guys, have you ever thrown your money away? Have you ever bought something that you don't really need? No. Or no. What did you buy? What did you buy? Something that you say, oh my God, that was so expensive. I really didn't need it, but I bought it. <laughs> what did you buy? I bought a battery on a government TV. <laughs> from Dollar City. I understand your feeling. <laughs> okay. From, uh, whenever I go to Dollar City, I pay $5 maximum. <laughs> okay. Have you ever thrown your money away, guys? What have you bought that you didn't need? I bought a hand watch. Oh, okay. But why? Why, yeah. why would you say throw away? Because the hand, I, I really don't need it, but was uh, uh, was with a uh, 50% discount. Oh, okay. That's why but, I bought. But do you wear it? Yeah. Oh, so, okay. Was, <laughs> was it very expensive? It's possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, if you wear it, I think it's okay. But if you don't wear it or if it is truly expensive, then yeah, that could be like throwing your money away. Guys, what about the rest of you? Uh, what do you think uh, you have bought that you would say, oh my God, I threw my money away? In my heritage and beauty. <gasps> and your hair and beauty. What did you do to your hair? My hair, I. Love go to the. Uh, did you get area? color? But did you get color? Did you get like a, um, a straightening? Okay. Money. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know it's expensive. Yes, Sylvia. I think I'm throwing my money away when I put in on my face uh, lashes. Oh, do you normally do lashes. it? Normally, I, I usually. Uh, yes. How often? Like once a how week? Often? I don't know how you wear them. Like once a week, twice a week, once a month? It's like two weeks. It's, um, Every two weeks? Yes. Every two weeks? Okay. Like for, my, for my things, yes, it's for every two weeks. Wow, but are they worth it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so you feel you're throwing your money away. Okay, are they worth it? Okay, I'm going to write this expression in the chat. Okay, um, that is, are they worth it? Or um, the expression, it is worth it, right? So it is worth it means vale la pena, right? So it is worth it. Or the question, is it worth it? Are they worth it? All right. So, vale la pena? That is like the expression we use. Okay. Nice. So, I want you to pay attention here to this verb. Because if you notice, yesterday, for example, we practiced turn on. Turn on the lights. Turn off the lights. I give up. So, they were together. But today, they are not together. They have been separated, right? So we call them, uh, we can split, we can separate some verbs, but not all the time. For example, here, I can say, I am throwing my money away um, in food. I am throwing my money away in beauty, right? So we are going to check some scenarios where uh, and when we can split some of this. This is one of the examples. We can split throw away. Um, sure. 
Yes. I have a question. Sure. I have a question. Uh, throwing is a phrase of verbs. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I, because uh, I think it's an ing verb. Um, I mean, yes, but let me explain this. A phrasal verb can be used in present, in past, in future. So a phrasal verb doesn't restrict or doesn't interfere with the tense. I will make up an example here. I think I get your question. A phrasal verb, guys, but, is not only for present or only for continuous or only for future tenses. A phrasal verb is only one verb, another verb. For example, we have get up. But I can use this in simple present. I get up at 6 a.m., for example, and that is okay. I can use in, I can say this in past. Yesterday, I got up at 6 a.m. and it is okay. I am not changing the meaning. I'm just changing the time, let's say. I can say this in future too. Oh, I will get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So a phrasal verb is just one verb, okay? It has one specific meaning, but uh, it is not related, you know, to the present future or the progressive form. So with this example of throw away, throw away, that is the verb. Um, it says, I am throwing my money away. But imagine that I'm talking about the garbage, right? And I know that I take the garbage out of my house every Monday. So I can say yesterday, yesterday I threw the garbage the garbage away. So if you check, if you check it out, I am throwing is present continuous. Uh, I threw is simple past, but the garbage. meaning is not changing. Uh -huh. The meaning of throw away, threw away is not changing. What is changing is only the time when I do the activities. Or I say, for example, oh, tomorrow is Wednesday. The, the trash collection card will go around so tomorrow, instead of I threw, I can say I will. The garbage, teacher. Uh, I will throw the gar. Garbage. Ooh, wait, yes, thank you. I'm sorry about this. I am dyslexic. <laughs> okay, so tomorrow <laughs> I will throw, uh, I will throw the garbage away. Sure. So, yes. Sure. Yes. I, I was wrong because I, I... I see uh, between throwing, throwing and away, uh, there are two two words, my this and money. Mm -hmm. This is the reason because I, I was wrong. Oh, no, 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 but you're okay, you're fine. Just remember the verb here is throw away. And this is exactly the point. There are verbs that we can split, we can separate, for example, I am throwing my money away. I don't want to say my money because we already know that it's money. I am going to eliminate it and I'm going to use another word. So I can use for money, I can use the word it. I am throwing it away. Oh, look at this. It is exactly the same. So I am throwing my money sure. away. Yes. It's correct if I say I am throwing away my money. I am throwing away my money. Yes, that is okay. Away my money? Mm -hmm. It's correct. Yes, okay. you are not changing the meaning. That would be exactly the same. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Let's move on then. Let's take a look at the other phrasal verb that we have right here. And we have look for. So to try to notice or search for something or something. Probably you already know this, but just let's go over here. For example, we are looking for some food because we are hungry. So the guys are just like checking something there. This looking for cannot be a split. So I can never say we are looking some food for. That's not possible. So uh, throw away, it's okay. We can split it, we can separate it, but look for 
it is not okay. We cannot separate it. We cannot split it. Now, probably, guys, you got the question. So, how do I know? Well, easy. We have to memorize it. And we have to practice it, of course. Um, that's the only way. And we have only two more phrasal verbs. Don't worry. The other one we have is this that says get on. Um, so get on is to go on a bus, to go on a train, on a boat, or on anything. Uh, we have, for example, quick, get on the bus, or you will have to walk home. This is very interesting because normally get in or get on are used when we are talking about transportation. So get on the bus, right? Uh, get on the train, get on the boat. And for a car, normally we use get in, get in the car, get in the taxi, get in the Uber, right? So we have and get airplane. on and we have get in. Airplane, that will be here with get on it. So I get on the aircraft. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. That is an aircraft. Aircraft, thank you. Yes, or thank an you. airplane. Mm -hmm. So get on, get on an aircraft. That is the one. So probably you will listen to get in or get on. Um, and the last one that we have is try on, all right? So try on, we can split this and it is to put on a piece of clothing for example, you go to, um, I don't know, to a shoe place, to a shoe shop, right? And you try on the shoes. You don't buy them. You just try them on. So you check, oh, they fit. They don't fit. I don't like them. Okay. With clothes, it is the same. You try on your clothes. When you are buying for clothes or shoes, it is a good idea to try them on. I want you to check this out. Try on is the phrasal verb. But here you have try them on. You can split it. Yeah, you can separate it. And the meaning is the same. So you can try the clothes on or you can try them on. All right. And that is the one. Guys, um, I don't know if you got any question with any. It's only four phrasal verbs. Questions with them. We have try on. We have get on. Uh, look for. Uh, throw away. Do you have any question with them? No. I have a question. Sure, tell me. Uh, what is the difference uh, between uh, get, get on, get in? Normally, uh, the difference depends on the transportation. Um, for on, we are going to use it for a bus, train, an airplane, a boat, a ship. Get in is more common for smaller objects. So get in the taxi, get in the car, get in the, what? Get in an Uber, for example. Uh, or if it is a house, get in the house. Mm -hmm. So it's just something smaller. Big. Smaller than, than a, In the a case bus. of a bicycle? Okay. In the okay. case in of a bicycle, a bicycle that would be get on. Get on a bicycle, like over. Get on. Yes, get on. Get on a bicycle. Get on a bicycle too. Oh, oh okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Yes. I have a, a. I don't know if if it is a question, but uh, go ahead. Take no problem. Off, take off is despegar. Yes. When but we are it, talking about um, a leave. But for me, it's difficult to understand. Uh, the the context because in in the platform there are um and some exercise and is take off but I don't I don't found the answer because it's difficult for me take off uh, the yard take off the dog take off I don't understand what is the context. I'm sorry about that. Um, yes, I got you. The thing is that sometimes a phrasal verb is not very specific. Let me show you something here super quick. Uh, when you mention take off, probably. Um, wait, no, wait, hold on. Give me one second. I think I have a picture. Probably it can uh, be a little helpful here. Yeah. 
Okay, there it is. Okay, yeah, take off as, as you said, normally it refers to an airplane, but not necessarily just an airplane. Look at this example we have right here. Take off is the moment when an airplane leaves the ground and begins to fly. But look at this one, for example. Hey, don't take off your clothing here. We have kids watching. So take off can be removed when you get to your house. For example, you take off your shoes. You take off your, I don't know, your uniform probably. And you wear something more, co more comfortable. Tell me. Yeah, in that context, it's like quitarse. Yes, exactly. Like remove from your uh, body. Normally, take off is for clothes, for something that you wear. Maybe your glasses, yes. maybe a cap, or maybe clothes, uniforms. And also, you have here the airplane because uh, take off also means when an airplane goes into the into the sky. So mm -hmm. it has two meanings. Mm -hmm. Thanks, You're welcome. Teacher. In the platform, I guess pr probably that is the confusion that you will find take off uh, just as an airplane, right? So that is the one. Okay. This imagining and, was funny, Miss. <laughs> I'm sorry? This imagining was funny. The oh. uh, women. Yeah. Oh, but you understand it, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, because when you get to your house, that is what we do. We, um, for example, I remove my glasses, so I take off my glasses, I take off my shoes, my socks, so take off, I remove from my body. Okay, guys, uh, part of the exercise that we have for today is exercise one, um, this is session 1.3, right? It's actually this topic, so part of verbs, and um, I want you to first listen to this carefully, so give me one second here. Um, because we are going to be having some exercises and practice here. Give me one moment. And there we go. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs. Will for responding to requests. With nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two-part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts, a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know the two-part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two-part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up, or the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. Okay, guys, I will stop it right here because this is very important and probably we need like some extra time for the explanation. So take a look here. Um, she was explaining that sometimes we can split if this is like um, a noun, a computer, the name of a person, right? Like the, no the noise woke the giant up. Imagine that I want to change the word the giant for him, right? I cannot, I can say the noise woke him up and that is okay. So uh, what I can do is eliminate or change, for example, the word the giant for the word him. Yeah, so the noise woke him up and that is okay, that is fine. Or I cannot eliminate it, I cannot split it like the noise woke up the giant. Both are correct both ways are correct. So 
What is not correct then? What it is not correct is to change. Uh, well, we will check this later. Uh, I hope not to confuse you. But for example, it is okay to put him in the middle between walk and up, but it is not okay to put it at the end of the sentence after the second part of the verb. For example, the noise walk up him. You will never listen to this, right? This is not very common uh, to be used. Um, the second part that she was trying to explain. Oh, wait. The second part she was trying to explain is actually this, you know. So she said, for example, we can put or we can place um, the word him, her, it, like in the middle, pick him up, pick her up, pick me up, pick it up. But it is not possible to say pick up him, pick up her, pick up it. Guys, I don't know if I'm confusing you. Are you following me? Are we good? Is it yes. confusing? I got it. Okay. Please, if you don't get it, it let me know. No problem. Uh, we can definitely go over this again. So, again, we can put him, her, me, it, them, etc. All of those words in the middle. Not, not always. But if it is possible, we can put it in the middle. We can never put them at the end. Uh, he keeps putting it off. It is never possible to say putting off it. You will never see that. Or call her back. You will never see call back her. That is not call a Call back her. Uh -huh. You will never hear that. So call me back, call him back, call them back, call us back, but not call back me. Okay, that is not possible. So normally this is the way we split them. Okay. Guys, um, because of the time, oh my gosh. Time flies. I don't understand why. Okay, we are going. Time is over. We are going to be. Yeah, but I don't want to let you go <laughs> before I give you the homework for tomorrow. Um. So give me just a second. Let me just present what we will be doing for tomorrow here. Um, I have your homework. So give me just a sec. Okay, so because uh, it is only one hour, sometimes it is a little hard to listen to everybody. And I would definitely like to listen to you as much as possible. So let's do this, guys, for tomorrow. At the very beginning of the class, um, we practice these four questions, okay? So lo que vamos a hacer, guys, es lo siguiente. Para mañana, vamos a tener como random participations al inicio de la clase. So les voy a pedir que preparen de 30 a uh, un minuto, right? Una eh, respuesta para estas preguntas. Puede ser cualquiera de ellos. Usted las puede escoger o para cada uno de ellos. La idea es que, you know, eh, no necesitan practicarla por una hora. Son los cinco minutos que le... Eh, le dediquen a ello, ahorita se pueden quedar, yo no, cinco minutitos, escojan una de estas preguntas y preparen una explicación, right, o contándonos algo por 30, de 30 minutos a un minuto, como la respuesta a esa pregunta, right? For example, have you ever been picked up by a crazy taxi driver? Si la respuesta es no, pero nos pueden contar qué le pasó a su amigo, qué le pasó a su amiga, qué historia ha escuchado. Um, so you can give us like more details here. Um, not for me, but I remember one friend told me this and that and that, right? So de 30 segundos de ser posible, eh, si consideran necesario escribirlo, escríbanlo. Si no, pongan su cronómetro y no pongan en el teléfono, cuenten 30 segundos, 40 segundos. Si no llegaron, invéntenselo, guys. La idea es presionarse un poquito hasta llegar a los 30 um, segundos o un minuto máximo, right? Para que mañana podamos tener eh, como Teacher. voluntarios random. Dígame, Enrique. Uh, we, we can answer the, the four question or only one. Um, whatever you prefer, you know, if you feel comfortable with all of them, so I think that is just fine. That would be nice. Uh, otherwise, I think only one is okay. Only one is fine. Uh, yes, Sofia. Okay. Uh, es que 
Yo hice una oración con clean up. Okay. Give it to me. Clean the dog up. Está bien. Clean the dog up. Yes, that is okay. Like clean up the dog or clean the dog up. Ese es un buen ejemplo de los verbos que se pueden separar. That's a very good example. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, guys. So, es la respuesta para una de las preguntas here. Mañana escogemos a algunos, algunas víctimas, right? <laughs> Because no van a ser voluntarios, but we can choose a couple of victims. So, get ready for tomorrow. Oh. Guys, gracias por su atención. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> <Good night, laughs> sí, you know, al que le toque. Have okay. a good night. See you tomorrow. Thank bye you. Bye. 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 Bye.